Today, I'm gonna to tell you how I've made over $500,000 selling my sample packs online. And I found that it's a much more reliable stream of income than YouTube type beats, placements, or anything else in my personal experience. So the reason I'm making this video is to hopefully inspire you guys and teach you guys how I go about selling my sample packs. I'm not trying to flex just to flex. I just wanna show you that it's actually possible to make good and even great money doing this. But before we get into how I've made the most of my money selling sample kits, let's start at the beginning back in 2018 when I put out my first sample kit. If you've watched any of my other videos like this, you probably remember that I started making beats when I was in high school. So my first sample pack was about two years into making beats. I really had no idea what I was doing at the time. I was just kind of copying what all my producer friends were doing around me and everyone was putting out packs. So I just decided I wanted to be cool like them and put out a pack myself. And I was super ignorant at this time. I just put out a pack where I just chopped actual songs and put them out as a loop kit as if it was my own stuff. Not realizing that that was uh, not what you're supposed to do. And as you can see, the first pack that I ever put out was this forever sample pack and it made $702 in the first year. So in 2018 from there, I kept putting out more kits whenever I felt like it or whenever I could, as you can see, I had this drum and loop kit that I made $135 on in 2018. Then I also had this asteroids loop kit that made $112 in 2018, but I really wasn't super serious about selling samples at this time. It was just whenever I could, I would just put out a pack to make a, a few extra hundred bucks here and there. So in 2019, I slowed down a little bit with the sample packs because I was focused more on beats as you can see but that first sample pack that i put out did about 240 dollars this one did about 150 dollars 135 on this one 125 there 60 dollars here 50 so each kit wasn't really going crazy but an extra hundred dollars here and there back then was a big deal for me and at this point i was just selling on beat stars i wasn't running any ads or anything i was just posting on my type beat youtube channel whenever i would drop a new loop kit and i would also post it up on my instagram but since i wasn't running any ads i would have an initial boost of sales right when i dropped and then it would just immediately fall off because there wasn't anything sustaining those sales. One little cheeky thing I used to do though to try to get as many sales as I could, I would post the preview for the loop kit on my story and I would put like the Instagram poll and I would put cop or drop or whatever. Everyone who voted cop, I would DM them directly and be like, yo bro, like, you want to buy it and looking back that was definitely kind of annoying but anyways after doing that for a while i decided to get a little bit more serious and i remember looking up youtube tutorials of how to run instagram or facebook ads for loop kits and after going down that rabbit hole for a little bit i started just doing instagram ads straight on the app and i would boost my post for five dollars a day and i would typically run my ads for like 30 days at a time but as soon as the 30 days were up on a new kit that i ran ads on all the sales would stop completely and i don't know why but to me it just never clicked to actually keep the ads running continuously continuously to continuously make sales. So I would just let my campaigns die and then my sales would go down in the gutter along with it. So if we look in 2020, when I was still selling my kits on BeatStars, you can see that the vast majority of my income was from Beats. But as far as kits go, my top loop kit was this guitar loop kit made $510. This loop kit made $500. This one did 445. This one did 310. This one did 268. This one did 215. Had a little $120 kit right here. So as you can tell, there's definitely some growth once I started running some ads that year. But since I would never run ads consistently and I wasn't spending that much on ads, there wasn't ever a huge increase in sales. However, that all changed in 2021. One day when I was sitting around with my friend who was super big into Shopify dropshipping at the time, I started thinking, why don't I start my own Shopify website? Similar to how internet money had their wave supply website where they sold kits. And it wouldn't just be my kits, I would also put other people's kits on there so that I wouldn't have to be putting out my own loop kit every single week. And what would happen if if I treated it more like a serious business instead of just throwing my loop kits on BeatStars and hoping that I get some sales. Some kind of inspiration or motivation just clicked in my head and I spent the next few days working tirelessly to create my first Shopify store for loop kits. I uploaded all of my previous kits that I'd put out in the past and with that I had created my first sample pack company, Loopstash. Within a few days of finishing my website I put out my first new sample kit with Loopstash and it was called Sacrifices Volume 1 and it was all up from there. So as you can see right here my first month launching loop stash with all of my previous kits in my brand new loop kit sacrifices i did about a thousand dollars in sales that month and i remember being super excited about that because i only launched it the last two weeks of the month so i was on pace to do two thousand dollars the next month however it was even better than i expected the 
next month when I ended up doing $4,000 because I had committed to putting out one loop kit every single week as soon as I started. So I had already put out six new kits from the middle of February to the end of March and I was running ads continuously on all of those at the same time. So I was bringing in a ton of new traffic and my loops and kits were actually fire and good and people seemed to be gravitating toward them. So I really wanted to double down and start to invest some more money. And the next month, things really, really changed for me. In April, 2021, I started spending more money on ads, dropping more kits. But the big difference in this month was I started paying YouTube producer influencers to plug my kits in their videos. And one particular video with this guy named Holy did crazy, crazy good for me. I paid him an upfront fee for him to plug my kit in his video. And I also gave him a 30% off discount code to give to the subscribers if they liked the kit and wanted to buy it. And to be honest, I was kind of nervous that I was going to lose the money that I was giving him because I had never done this before and I had no idea if it was going to work, but I was definitely wrong. The first day I made over a thousand dollars in sales, which was way bigger than any other sales day that I had ever had. There also came a huge influx of new customers who had never been to my store or seen my kits before. That being said, I continued with the same strategy of doing one new kit every week. And later on in the year, I would even start doing six kits a month. And these were definitely not all my kits. I was trying to put out most of my kits because then I wouldn't have to split money with anyone else. And as you can see right here, other than this month where I had a dip right there, I was slowly growing and maintaining my pace throughout the whole year with that same strategy. Just continuously running Instagram ads and putting out new products. One other thing that I did that I think definitely kept people engaged is I would do free loop Fridays. So if you were on my email list back in the day, you might remember getting these emails every Friday where I would just put three or five free loops in and it pretty much just kept people engaged with my email marketing because they were always getting some value out of it. I remember later in the year realizing that even though I was making 10, $12,000 a month, after I paid out those 50, 50 splits to the people who had their kits on my website, paid Facebook ads and taxes, I was really only left with like three or $4,000 on $12,000 in sales. And coming from someone who was used to making 100% profit with BeatStar sales, not spending any money on ads, this felt like a huge L that I was putting in all of this work and only getting around $3,000 a month for it. Considering that at the time I was making around $30,000 a month on BeatStar. So I had to think of a solution if I wanted to make more profit. And the solution that I came up with was I switched to upfront payments for people who would put their kits on my site versus splits. And it really pained me to do this because I wanted to just give everyone splits. But the reason I had to do this is because let's say I put out a kit and it did $500 in sales that month and we're doing a 50 50 split. Now let's also say that I spent $300 on ads on that kit to get that $500 in sales. So after paying for ads, I was actually losing money putting out other people's kits. So it just didn't make sense for me to keep putting out those kits with splits. And that definitely helped me a lot with my cash flow, being able to keep all the profit that I made. And by the end of 2021, for my first year launching my first sample pack company, I had done $103,000 in total sales, which is fucking nuts. And if we look at 2022, you can see that I was sustaining around the same level and even growing a little bit up to 13, almost $16,000 months. And not a lot changed for my strategy from 2021. But one thing that I did that has been super, super crucial is I hired Ryan from Heat to take over my email marketing. Now I didn't have to worry about sending out emails and he definitely helped boost the income on email marketing. But as you can see, we maintained around the same pace throughout the whole year until I had this call with TB Digital. Back in around September of 2022, I had a call with TB Digital because we were going to film a video for Producer Grind. And on this call, we did a little interview for their channel. But at the end, we stayed on the phone for nearly three hours and he was just giving me game on how they were selling sample packs on Producer Grind. And they had a completely different approach to how I was selling sample kits. They would drop these huge bundles and they would create hype before dropping the kit for weeks, dropping a free beta pack that you could test the sounds with, collecting emails for a wait list, and then doing a huge campaign around the release. So instead of just dropping a loop kit or a drum kit every single week, they might drop a kit every three months, but they put all of their energy into that one kit, making it this huge bundle for a high price. And I can't really speak on the exact numbers, but when he told me how much they were making on these kits, I was fucking mind blown. So following that call, I decided to put out a big bundle kit of my own. So in October of 2022 for Halloween, I dropped Dark Knights Volume 1, which was this crazy dark trap kit. Pretty much just this massive bundle that was on a huge discount compared to how much stuff was inside of it. And as you can see in September, we made $14,000, which was on pace with our normal sales. But the next month, 
stopped when we dropped Dark Knights, we did almost $20,000 in sales, which was huge for me at that time. I had never gotten close to $20,000 in sales. And as you can see, by far the top selling product was Dark Knights. There's a couple different product variants, but we got 6,500 here, 2,000 here, and then also 792 right here. So in total, it made around $10,000 in sales. And at the time I had limited it. So I made all of that money in one week. So it was safe to say that after that, my mindset definitely changed because I'd figured out the new way that I wanted to sell these kids. So piggybacking off the success of Dark Knights in October of 2022, I dropped another huge bundle for Black Friday in November, which was 25 of my favorite sample packs on my website for just $97. And also, by the way, right now you can grab the new Black Friday bundle, which is completely different from the one in 2022 that has 35 kits for just $97. And the link will be in the description for that. And there's also up to 80% off all of my kits, but both of those deals are going to be gone super, super soon. So make sure you click the link and check it out right now. Anyways, that bundle sale did amazing. And we made $24,000 in November of 2022, which was completely mind blowing that I had just beat the record of the month before. This had proven to me that launching kits instead of just putting them out every week was definitely the move. And then the next month it went back down because I didn't have any crazy launches that month. But in 2022, my income grew by 75% on my sample kit store, going from 103,000 all the way to 179,000 dollars, almost 180,000. And in 2021, I was already so excited that I made six figures with my own sample pack company, and it definitely motivated me to go all in for this year of 2023. So towards the end of 2022, I had come up with the concept for my next big launch, and it was called Elements of Soul. But before I would go on to drop that kit, I wanted to make a change to Loop Stash. I didn't want it to be Loop Stash anymore because I felt like it just boxed it into being a Loop Kit company. And I wanted the name to be able to be something bigger than just Loop Kits. I wanted to eventually be able to maybe venture into something like plugins and just production in general, not just Loop Kits. So in the beginning of 2023, I rebranded to Sonics Audio. And around the same time, I was still dropping those new Loop Kits every week whenever I didn't have a big launch going on. But when a contract fell through for one of the kits and I didn't have a kit to post that week, I sat back and looked and I realized that I was still losing money on a lot of the kits that I was putting out every week after ad spend. But I was making a ton of profit off of those huge bundle kits because a lot of the traffic was coming from my organic audience. But I knew that the model of paying someone a few hundred bucks up front to make one of these huge bundles that takes months or weeks of time was definitely not going to work, at least for good quality sound kits. So I changed the business plan a little bit and I brought on Mezio and Vision onto the Sonics audio team to help me make kits. And in February, all three of us started working on our own huge bundle kits for the website that we would release throughout the rest of the year. Vision was working on Synthtopia, which was this crazy huge analog synth bundle. Mezio was working on Elements of RMB, which was this huge RMB production suite. And during all this, I was still working on my big launch, Elements of Soul. And I know I can speak for Mezio and Vision saying that these bundle kits took everything out of me. I remember working tirelessly for like 16 hours a day for weeks on end trying to get this kit right. I was working on recordings with session musicians, gospel choirs, vocalists, trying to make loops for the kit, work on the business side for it. It had gotten so bad that I stopped going to the gym for an entire month right before I dropped Elements of Soul because I had to just lock in and work on it every single day. And while we were working endlessly on these new sample packs that would take forever to make, I had also stopped putting out those individual kits every week. So I had no new products on the store for months. And as you can see right here, we were maintaining fine for the first two months when I was still putting out new kits. As soon as I stopped putting out new kits, we went down to 11,000. And then the next month we went down to 9,000, which was the lowest my sales had been since April of 2021. And at this point, I thought things were not looking good to be honest, but I kept the faith that dropping this huge Elements of Soul bundle was gonna help me catapult back to where I wanted to be. And after nearly six months of crazy endless work on this Elements of Soul kit, I'm super glad to say that it paid off like crazy. As you can see, in May, when we first launched Elements of Soul, we did $26,000 in sales, which was the biggest sales month that we had had at this time. If you look right here, you can see that Elements of Soul, again, was the huge carrier of sales this month, almost $8,000 on this early access version of the kit and another $330 on payment plans for the kit toward the end of the month. So that pack alone had generated nearly $20,000 in sales in May alone, and it dropped on May 19th. And I think there's a bunch of reasons why this kit worked super well, and I think they're super useful to know. So 
So I'm gonna dive into those really quick. The first one being the branding of it. I feel like this product page looks a lot more legit. As you can see, there's audio waveform previews so you can hear what the kit sounds like. There's testimonials. There's a whole video of me explaining what the kit's about. You can see the value breakdown, $150 for this loop kit. You can hear what the loops sound like and they're all made with real instruments. And we've got all of these kits. The website looks nice and professional. And there's also this huge walkthrough that's 20 minutes of me just going through the entire kit. Even more bonus kits right here, a whole course that came with this kit. So as you can tell, there's a, a shit ton of stuff that went into this. And then when you add all of it together, right now it's on Black Friday sale. So I dropped this for 97 originally. And then now the price is normally 167. It's on Black Friday right now. But as you can see right here, it gives this huge value breakdown. So it makes you feel like, holy shit, this is like a thousand dollars worth of stuff. And it's only for a hundred dollars. This is a great deal. And this is a great deal. There's even payment plans so you can get it. And then at the bottom here, there's a bunch of testimonials of people loving the kit, talking about how they like it. It was just a one of a kind product that I had never seen anything like. And I think that having this huge product with just undeniable value, I think this is a huge reason why this one killed it. And going from there for the Elements of Soul, it kept selling consistently. And still to this day, it is the number one product that sells every single month. And in my opinion, it just goes to show you that if you put a ton of upfront work on one product that is just undeniably amazing, and it might seem like you're wasting time in the moment when you're making it, all of that upfront work can pay off for years to come because if it's truly an amazing product, you can market it forever and you don't have to be in the same loop of having to put out something new every single week just to maintain your sales. So the next month we had a smaller launch with the producer playbook that actually ended up being a product that is absolutely killing it. And then later on in July, we dropped Synthtopia and we had just been maintaining around $30,000 a month. So I was super, super happy. I put a ton more effort into making good ads. I went back to my 2021 strategy of paying YouTube influencers to promote my kits. And I shot up all the way to $35,000 in sales in August, which is just crazy to me. And then in September, we dropped Elements of RMB that absolutely killed it as well. And we had our highest month at $39,000 in sales. So nearly $40,000 on just sample packs alone that month. Obviously, all of this is before ad expenses, paying splits out to Mezio and Vision and paying for all of the other expenses that come along with the business. But I really do think that it's amazing that it's possible to make this much without having a massive team of employees and people working on stuff. So 2023 is not over yet. And Black Friday's going on right now. So I'm hoping that that's going to bring in a lot of revenue like it did last year. But so far I've made $246,000 in sales this year on Sonics, which is insane. So as you can see, I'm up 69% in income and I'm just hoping that this growth can continue. One major thing I want to point out though, is I think that the biggest lever in my business is my personal brand. If you look right here in October of 2021, when I started this YouTube channel, I was barely getting any views and it was just slowly, slowly, slowly growing until 2022, I started to get some more attention. And then recently stuff has just been going up consistently. And in the past two years, I've gone from zero subscribers on this channel all the way up to 41,000 at the time of this recording. So obviously bringing in 41,000 new people to me and my brand is a huge reason why I've had more people buy my kits. So with that, I really wanna stress to you to put out content and not be afraid to put yourself out there to grow your personal brand because it is 100% worth it. But looking back on my whole journey selling sample kits. I think the biggest thing that I can stress to people who are trying to sell beats or sample kits on their own is give it time. If you look, I've been doing this for five, nearly six years. I've been putting out sample kits since I was 16 years old. I didn't just figure out how to do this overnight. It's been years in the making. So if you're still early on in the process and you've only been doing it for a year or even two years, don't give up now. You're just early in the process. You need to figure out things as you go. So keep an open mind, keep trying to grow in different ways and just give it time. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button so I can keep making more videos like this. And if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments and I'll try to answer all of them.